This is the 2014 John Lewis Christmas advert. It's called Monty the Penguin. And it basically includes a young boy who you can see here on the left and his little pet penguin who you can see on the right-hand side. Now, this advert was really successful. It got about 12 million views on YouTube, and they came up with a Twitter hashtag, which was hashtag Monty the Penguin, and this did really well on Twitter as well. This advert is very cleverly made. It's no surprise that it, it has 12 million views on YouTube, and it's really popular. Every single detail of this advert is designed to produce an association in your brain between John Lewis, the brand, and family values, love, and Christmas. They want that association between their brand and those values in your head so that when you decide to go Christmas shopping, you will choose them and not their competitors. Having said that, uh, let's take a look at the ad right now. Plans and schemes Lost like some forgot So, so far we've seen them playing hide and seek, uh, playing Lego, um, and things like that, and, uh, and uh, jumping on the trampoline, and it's showing sort of their bond between the kid and the penguin. The use of the penguin is really clever. Um, it really is a really good attention grabber for the advert. I think when you first see that penguin sort of playing with the boy, you really, it really does get your attention just because it's so unusual. And just the fact that the penguin is out of it, sort of like the environment you would expect it to be in, I think this is a pretty original and is going to get your attention straight away. Penguins are really popular. And ever since uh, that documentary, March of the Penguins, we've known that penguins are a really popular animal uh, with the audience. And... Uh, Many times companies will use animals to help advertise their product. And the penguin is a really good one because the way it sort of moves, the way it kind of like waddles around like this, kind of in, in a way imitates a young toddler learning to walk. So it's a, this is one of the reasons people find them really cute. So take a look at this scene here. In the foreground, we have sort of a nice middle class happy couple. Uh, he's got his shirt tucked in and he's dressed very conservatively. And then we have people, a family back here, uh, two kids throwing bread to the ducks. Again, good association with family values. And basically everybody in the shot is nicely dressed. There's a lot of families and a lot of kids, which is kind of what you would expect to see at the park. But you can't see, a, for instance, a, a drunk homeless man on one of the benches uh, drinking from a bottle of whiskey uh, because you cannot have any bad associations with the brand they cannot be included mm. see everything in this shot looks very family oriented and nice and, and there are no sort of girls sort of dressed uh, provocatively or anything like that no short skirts or anything like that now, this girl here is wearing sort of a conservative dress that goes down to her knees and, uh, you know, if you're going to a real park, you might see maybe a girl with some short denim shorts or something like this. But you cannot have that in this advert because that is not family values. And everything you see, all the stimulus that is coming into your brain needs to be associated with family values. Seems like all I really was doing was waiting for you. Just like little girls and boys Playing with their little toys The expression on this boy's face is very important. He looks guilty as he's feeding the uh, the fish finger to the penguin below the table. Now, it's important that he looks guilty because we have to see that he's a middle-class child and a well-behaved child. He's brought up well. If he had a smirk on his face, again, this would not be the right message. And, you know, it seems like a small detail, but I promise you, these things matter. The thing, it has to feel right all through the advert. Toys. Seems like all we really would do was 
here we have the perfect nuclear family. Uh, you know, we have one boy, one girl who's a bit older, and then parents, parents who look relatively young. Um, and everybody, it looks like the perfect middle class Christmas. The whole scene, we've got the stockings here in the background. We've got the well made up Christmas tree, nice comfortable sofas, and, and it's a perfect middle class house. And again, seems like nothing, but you would never the the advert would never show perhaps a sort of a poor family watching TV here. It needs to be aspirational. So yes, you've got the the idyllic middle class Christmas right here. Something else that's interesting as well is that this shot is actually sort of mirroring back to the audience, and many many of the audience are sitting in exactly this position at Christmas watching the advert. Don't really know what to make of that, but it's something that I sort of noticed. The song, by the way, is a modern cover of a John Lennon song. And these days, adverts love to do modern covers of classic songs. I believe it's because, I'm not actually sure, I, be I believe it's because you managed to hit both markets. The older generation like it because it's a familiar song from their childhood, and this is going to resonate with them. But it doesn't alienate the younger audience who will be watching because it's a modern version of the song and it's not too old fashioned. This is why you always see uh, remakes of classic songs in advertising. Again, I'm going to point out some of these little details. You know, the clothes that the the boy is wearing. You know, he's he's wearing the 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 jacket and the matching sort of bobble hat. He's been dressed up by a in a particular way to look very nice, very pleasant middle class. It's not like his jacket has holes in, or he's from a poor. He can't afford good clothes. He's wearing nice matching. I've just got to point these little details out because none of it is by accident. And, of course, we have now the penguin getting a bit lonely and getting a bit jealous of all the love going around that he's not getting for himself. Poor little guy. The couple that he's looking at here, we have an idyllic romantic scene under the in the snow of a nice happy couple holding hands. Um, yes, again, this is another stimulus that will fire into your brain. It's about love. So what you're doing is when you see images like this, even if just for a second, an image of uh, a happy couple walking through the snow, looking very much in love, you will now associate this image or this stimulus or feeling with the brand of John Lewis, which means you're more likely to shop there. This is no accident, guys. These shots are not random. <laughs> More small details here. So, on their face, all the skin on the face of these two girls, and the boy actually, is very clear. No imperfections whatsoever. None of them have spots, like many teenagers do. They're covered in makeup by makeup artists, and they have a lighting expert making it look very healthy and very nice. Again, this is really important, because everything in the advert needs to have a good association with the brand. You cannot have a spotty teenager in the advert anywhere because this this is a negative association to put with the brand. It's real love. It's I guess many people would think this is a heartwarming moment. Me being a sceptical bastard that I am, I'm just seeing it from the perspective of uh, how they want to make profit from people's emotions. But hey. And here we finally see the mother. This is the person who the, the advert is mostly aimed at, actually. Because the majority of consumer decisions are actually made by women and mothers. This woman here reflects the target audience of the advert. It's real love. It's real love. 
give someone the Christmas they've been dreaming of. Or in other words, come to John Lewis, hand over your money, buy a product, and give it to one of your family members because we want to make money. 